Scout Leader Woodsy here, and today's topic is for the ladies, and I guess the men with long hair. We're talking about how to tame the mane on the trail. Now, disclaimer, I have never done a long trail like the Appalachian Trail. Um, all of my trips are just usually overnight, two nights. Um, I do hope to do the Appalachian Trail like someday, but I don't plan on cutting my hair for that. You, know, you see some people shave their hair, shave their head, or they cut their hair. And you know what? I like my hair, and I don't think it'll be too much of a problem. So today I want to give you some tips and some styles that work for me on the when I'm on the trail. My first two tips, um, a lot of you might carry something like baby, pow baby powder or gold bond for your feet or anywhere on your body. This works really good kind of in that in-between stage when maybe you've been out two nights and you know your hair's personally my hair gets a little oily if you kind of sprinkle this in your hair and rub it in it takes that shine away it's not going to clean your hair but it's going to make you look presentable for another day or two so this is my first tip my second tip don't bring a big hairbrush i got a package of about like six different brushes at the dollar store and this came in it um this weighs like i don't even think this would register on my kitchen scale weighs nothing. I like the long tooth comb because it can really kind of, I start on the bottom of course to kind of work, work my way up, but I think the long tooth really kind of gets more hair at once. Um, so this is what I recommend. I just kind of, you know, for an overnight, I don't bring something like this, but I'm out for more than a night. This is what I'll pack in my bag since it's so lightweight. I have kind of two different styles that I do on the trail. And the first is a braid. Um, I've done pigtails, which would be kind of cute. Um, maybe a little juvenile, depending on how old you are. I pulled it off. The other way I like to do is the catness. I'll pull all my hair to the side, and I'll give it a quick braid. This kind of just keeps it off of my, my neck and it keeps my hair from getting tangled because my hair gets pretty tangled. And I feel, honestly, I feel kind of hardcore and I got the side braid because it really does remind me of Katniss in the wilderness. So this is a really simple way. I mean, that's really fast, and your hair doesn't have to be smooth for this. As long as you get three sections apart, you can have tangles, and it's not a big deal. And then this, I would, I would fasten. With something like this or pigtails, you have to kind of look at your backpack and what kind of straps do you have. I have two different bags, and one of mine has Velcro loops that maybe you would put like a, a water bladder I attach a compass to it and my braid would get stuck in there so I have to watch to see what kind of bag I'm taking what style is going to work with that so this wouldn't work with velcro on the straps um, the other style that I, I go to a lot is the bun so that one for that oh my gosh I've got these little pins they're called spin pins and I, you know, you can get them at almost any store. I think Goody makes them. You can also get them on eBay. You can get quite a few. It's evening and the bugs are coming out. But what's cool about these is you don't even need a ponytail holder. I usually do put a ponytail holder in just because since I am walking so much and bouncing, it kind of helps. But you really don't, you really don't need one. So for this, let me turn around. You're just gonna grab the hair and twist it into a bun. Then use the pin, the one on top and one on the bottom and sides, and just kind of twist them into place. And this holds pretty well. This again is going to keep your neck nice and cool. And that holds really well. Now my other trick with the bun, I like to take a buff. Um, I've never, this is kind of like my own little, I made this up myself, I'd like to say. Um, I've never seen this in like, you know, you see like the 12 styles of wear buff. And I've, n I've never really seen this, but 
But if you take this and pull it all the way up, I like to have a little bit of my hair showing. Let me pull them back. And I'll take this bottom and I'll tuck it just under. And I've worn this a couple times. It just kind of like feels like everything's kind of contained. You know, I don't feel like it's going to get dirty or, or snarly. And I really do like this style. So that's one way. If I do a higher bun, let me take this out. If it is really sunny, I'll do a higher bun. I'll go as high as I can get it. And again, I'm just gonna wrap it in the bun, but if I'm out, I probably would use a ponytail because sometimes the bun does come unraveled. This is probably not gorgeous. I'm kind of glad I'm doing this out of mirror because when you're hiking, you're not gonna have a mirror unless maybe another trick you could carry a, um, a small mirror like a compact mirror and that a lot of people use if they um, are lost to like a signal mirror I, I've never done that um, and with the high bun then I can use my visor and this is great on really bright days and that stays really good um, hairs off my neck it's kind of not going to get tangled and I can still wear a, a hat where if I had like a regular hat the bun wouldn't work, but since it's a visor, this one stays on really good. It's got like elastic. I like this. I got this really cheap at Marshalls. Um, this is probably my favorite hairstyle. Another thing to consider, like with the, the buff, another way you could wear it is as a headband. It's nice in the cold months because you got it kind of on a headband, and if it gets cold, you pull it over your ears and it kind of keeps it a little cooler. Um, and then you know, something like a bandana, that can even be kind of, you know, stylish. Using that not only to keep the hair off your face, but it looks cute. It's not a bad thing to look cute on the trail. You know, something like that. These are the trip, you know, kind of the trip tricks and the styles I use to kind of maintain my hair. Um, I don't know, I've, I've never had a problem with my hair on the trail, but I usually do keep it braided or up in a bun. I usually do keep it down and flowing when I'm sleeping, just because otherwise it kind of uh, looks really crazy in the morning. But uh, these are my tricks. Leave a comment, let me know what works for you. I haven't seen any other videos like this on YouTube, so I wanted to get that information out there for the ladies and gentlemen with the longer locks. Alright, Scout Leader Woodsy out.